Well, here we are. The 300 series is here. I'm Steven, I'm from Corns Toyota and I'm about to walk you through it. Let's go. Since we are talking about the 300 series today, it's only right that I bring you the car that everyone knows, the Sahara. From the length, we're about the same length as the 200 series and we don't change too much in height or dimensions. Ground clearance, we do gain just a little. With us today, we have the Crystal Pearl Sahara. There is 10 different colors across the range, starting from GX all the way up to the GRS Sport, along with four different interior options. In the back end, Toyota have maintained the tow bar built into the chassis along with the three and a half towing capacity, which us Australians have so grown to love. In the back end, they have changed the rear seat layout completely. The seats no longer fold to the side. They actually are seated in the base of the vehicle. With the seats being in the floor, the seating in the rear in the Sahara is all automatic. So you can go up and down by the click of a button. The headrests fold in automatically, so you don't have to push them in when you're going down and they fold completely flat once again. One of the concerns we had when we were going to the 300 series is that we were going down from 138 litre fuel tank to 110. Obviously, when we travel Australia, we want to get the most out of the car that we can. We did some numbers and using the extra urban fuel rating, when we are traveling Australia, we should actually end up with 50 kilometers more out of a tank. Now that reach in the fuel is actually directly correlated with the V6 engine that we've gone with. I know it's not the V8 and we've all got our knock about that. But I've got to say, it actually drives better, it handles better, and overall, it actually doesn't feel like it's lacking any less power. In fact, it actually has more power than the V8. The V8 actually has less kilowatts and uses more fuel than the V6, which is 227 kilowatts compared to 200 in the V8. Well, you'd think after 15 years, Toyota might have improved their engine a little bit. One thing I do love is that Toyota has maintained the same front end look while it being completely different. It gives you that look, it's still a Land Cruiser, but it's a new one. A little fun fact before we take you inside the car, Toyota actually lowered the gearbox and moved it back a little, which has helped improve the center of gravity of the vehicle. You'll notice it straight away when you drive it. From a safety standpoint, Toyota has included all of its safety sense technology in these vehicles, from lane departure alerts to rear cross traffic alerts. You won't have a problem when you're driving it around town and getting into a small car park. When we sit from the driver's area, we do get a few things that are a little luxuries. We get the wireless phone charger here, along with a few drive mode selects, which are gonna be great when we're off-road. One quick thing that I do wanna mention is the center console is actually completely different to any vehicle I've seen before. It actually opens to the side you're sitting on. As I mentioned earlier, we do get four different color options when we choose the leather interior. They are based on model and grade. In the Sahara, we can choose from a black or a beige interior. In the ZX, you can choose from a red leather or a, or a black interior. Or in the GRS, you can choose red leather or black interior as well. Starting from the top, there is a lot going on in the center console area, but it's all there for a reason. And we'll try and touch on most of it as we can. We have a 12 inch display at the top, along with heated and cooled seats down the center. We can control the air conditioner all through the center area here and along with temperatures by flicking these dials up and down. All these buttons down the bottom here actually control our radio and believe it or not, we still have a CD player. As I mentioned before, we get a mode select shift here. I was fortunate enough to get to do a bit of off-road in one of these a couple weeks back and let me tell you now, this mode select is an absolute game changer for four-wheel driving. I won't go into everything that it does, but let me just tell you now, when you are off-road, it makes it seamless and effortless to actually get in and out of the creek beds. In the center here, we have a, an electronic high four and low four switch along with an electronic park brake and the hold, which is great. We're doing a bit of ground town driving. In the Sahara, we get a sunroof with leather seats, heated and cooled seats as well. We also get a full 360 degree camera, which is great for when we're parking or we're trying to get in and out the shed at home. From the driver's seat, we actually have active cruise control. So when we're doing those long drives, it'll keep you a safe distance from that car in front of you. Not to mention the JBL sound system, which would be great for listening to music. In the second row, there's plenty of space. I'm six foot two and I'm not having a single issue with space back here. You do get six anchor points for your isofix and then three on the rear of the seats as well. 
As in the front, we do actually get heated and cooled seats back here, along with air conditioning controls for this second and third row. We get headphones for the TVs, and then charger ports as well for the iPads for the kids. From the back TV entertainment area, we do have AM, FM radio, digital, Bluetooth, rear HDMI, but also Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. As like anyone, I have my doubts when they said they were bringing out a new Land Cruiser and it wasn't going to be V8. How could you be better than the V8? Well, I've got to be honest, I think we're better. I think we've done better and I think it drives better. All in all, I think this Land Cruiser will get you home. I'm Stephen from Corns Toyota. If you have any questions, feel free. Come down and see us. We're more than happy to answer any questions. And if you want to have a look, we actually have this car in our showroom right now.